Can you divide by zero? Divide one by zero. Uh, great question. Uh, okay, let me think. Uh, let's take a piece of paper. So let's take this in a green paper, right? And I want you to divide this by half. And the half is I'm going to give you this template. So this is your divisor. This is your half of this. I want you to divide this one paper by half. How do you do it? That's easy. Okay. Nice. So you divided this one paper that we had, the green one, by the divisor, which was half. And you got two of these, right? Each of them is the same size as your divisor, which is half, right? So the answer of one divided by half is two. Okay, we'll keep this here. Say you want to divide this one, which is the orange one, which is what the green was, into one third. One third is this is the size. This is your divisor, which is your one third. If you wanted to divide, how would you divide by one third? Okay, we are sharing it. We are putting the divisor on top. Okay. So now each of your paper that you have divided is the same size as this, right? So you have divided the one paper that you had, which was your orange one, into one third, one third, one third. Total, you have three of these and each the size of your divisor, which is one third, right? Now I'll give you something a little more difficult. Not difficult, more interesting. So I'll give you an even smaller divisor. So first I've given you half, then I've given you one third. Now I'm going to give you a divisor which is one sixteenth. And I'm going to give you a yellow one, and you're going to divide it into one sixteenth. How are you going to do that? It's a lot of cutting you're going to have to do. Alright, let's go ahead. So you can see as the divisor becomes smaller and smaller, you have to divide many more times, right? Yeah. Okay. Now I gave you a smaller divisor and with the smaller divisor you got a bigger answer, correct? if I give you a divisor which is even smaller than this and very small which is almost zero right or like zero like there isn't any right what would you have to do keep cutting it keep cutting it keep cutting let's see make it almost very small not almost make it zero no, keep cutting it so you're cutting it right because you want it each of them to be the same size as your divisor right is this zero? No. Is this zero? What are you going to have to do? Keep How? cutting it. Keep cutting it. Forever. Well, that is what infinity is. You're going to have to keep dividing it by more and more and more, smaller and smaller and smaller. Got it? Is if this I... zero? <laughs> no. You're going to have to keep cutting this, right? Okay. So if I gave you two papers, right? And if I wanted you to divide both the papers by zero, what would the answer be? Infinity. Why? Because you're going to have to keep dividing them. Both the papers, right? Over and over and over again. Okay, well done.